So I'm just continuing to answer some of these questions here you guys asked. So Chelsea asks, can you please discuss the role of free 120 in my USMLE prep? Sure, no problem. I've got an easy answer here. So uh, before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Help bring awareness to it. Please share with one of your friends who's prepping for USMLE. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, and the link is down below. Now let me start the fucking question. So Chelsea asks, can you discuss the role of free 120 my prep for you, Simile? Sure. Look, free 120 can be integrated optionally, okay? It's interesting because whilst, of course, it is on the USMLE website, there is copious NBME material for step one and step two. As I've discussed in other clips, 25 through 30 for step one uh, online right now at the time of this clip should be integrated as mandatory, okay? That's not a question. 20 through 24, if you have time, should be integrated. So we have 20 through 30. Those are our uh, 11 forms, 200 questions per form, 2200 questions, essentially a QBank. For step two, we of course have not just the online NBMEs, uh, which 678 at the time of this clip will soon be 9, 10, 11 with 678 going offline. And then we've got all of the clinical mastery series subject specific material. So I'm prefacing, I'm saying we have copious NBME material for steps one and step two leading to free 120 not being a mandatory integration. I don't incorporate it into all of my students' prep. It, it's just an optional thing. Um, I don't see it as uh, a significant plus or minus, just put it that way. It's also probably a function of the fact that we have copious NBME material. If we only had, let's say, 200 questions or 300 questions at most uh, online, that's it. Uh, no other questions exist for what's going to be on the, on the USMLE. And then there's free 120. Sure, it's going to be much more significant but it's not mandatory that you incorporate free 120. If you choose to incorporate it, you can screenshot your incorrects from the free 120, similar to what you're going to, or the same as to what you're going to do for forms 20 through 30 for step one. You're going to screenshot your incorrects into a Word document, save as a PDF, and then you've got a master file, okay, that you can review leading up to your exam. That's a long story short. Of course, I've made other clips on this stuff, okay, but we're keeping this short clip consolidated. Just free 120 is optional, it's not mandatory. And if you do choose to integrate it, just uh, screenshot out your incorrects. Just spend a couple hours doing that, okay, going through the form, and just put them into your uh, PDF file of incorrects from the NBMEs. Okay, easy answer, all right? So drop a comment if you have questions yourself, and subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.